Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back. Thank you for joining me, The Televisionary. Just finished watching uh, The Walking Dead. It was the season eight finale, right? Yeah, I can't yeah. believe the season's already over. How, how is that even possible? We jumped from October to November. We go on a hiatus and then it's like February to April. And now we have to wait until October. And we didn't even get a preview of what next season could be about. Mm -hmm. So, and yes, there are going to be spoilers, so if you haven't watched yet, watch the episode, then come back and watch the review video. It's good to be back, guys. Greg, you've watched it longer than I have, so what are some of your thoughts on this season finale? Did you see these shocks coming? It, it was a crazy episode, to be honest. Um, I, I kind of have had a thought that some of these things were coming, um, especially the whole... Uh, you said this was a spoiler episode, right? So definitely. Uh, it's biggest thing was Eugene kind of you know turned the tables on the saviors by loading uh, defunct ammo. Um, it was I felt like it was kind of hinted at a couple episodes ago while working with Father Gabriel. They kind of hinted at you know him maybe messing with the ammo a little bit. So I feel like that kind of mm -hmm. surprise was kind of hinted at. So I kind of saw it coming, but everything else it's it came as a surprise. Negan, yeah, and Rick, the epic battle. Did we see that one coming, or did is it was it too soon? Do you think? I think it came at a good time. Um, from me, being a comic book reader, like reading the comics, um, that kind of similar thing happened. They fought. Rick slit his throat the same style as he did in the comics. Um, so it was kind of you know on par with the comics. So. Yeah, if you didn't read the comics, it obviously it would be a shock, but I mean, it was still a shock to me, but... Oh, definitely a shock. I even tweeted that I thought for a minute there Negan was uh, dead, and then I regretted tweeting that, but I guess everyone was kind yeah. of on that hype right there, that just that, that shock, and you know, I said to you during the episode that when the guns went off, mm -hmm. it almost felt like going back to the episode where Shiva jumped out and ruined Negan's plan yeah. of whacking Carl. Yeah. Just the, you know, the whole big plot twist in season finale is that was a very comparable to, you know, the Shiva thing last, uh, last season. And that's but. what this show's famous for. You know, some episodes are filler episodes. Some are, you know, they're just so action-packed that you're ready to jump off the couch. Mm -hmm. And now going into the, and okay, the entire episode, basically for two seasons, this all-out war has been gearing up for basically this episode. Mm -hmm. And what I read with the producers that this season finale ended like six season all in one. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to go into, even though no previews, we're going to go into a brand new season on a clean slate. Mm -hmm. And I was disappointed. I had mentioned to you that the whispers have not been introduced mm -hmm. and you know more about the whispers, obviously. So when do you think we're going to, they will introduce them and what do you think their storyline will be about for this show? See, it's kind of hard to say because, you know, the producers, you know, kind of want to stay true to the source material of the comics, but they want to make it a whole, like, completely new show to, you know, keep the fans on their toes. So I'm not sure, um, based on how they did this last episode, I'm not sure if they will right away. They may, may be, like, maybe a mid-season finale or maybe even next season finale but i think this next season may be more have a plot of a conflict between the communities not with the three communities versus the saviors but like i feel like the big thing is probably gonna be alexandria alexandria in the hilltop based on what maggie her reaction was with rick uh keeping negan alive in this episode and going off that i love loved her reaction with Michonne holding her back when Rick said, you know, for Sadiq, the doctor, to, you know, save Negan's life. Because she was hell-bent throughout the past season, probably season and a half, she wants to go and kill Negan. Um, so... It was impulsive. Yeah. Now, what do we think, though, about... You were shocked about this, because I saw your face. Daryl... Maggie and Jesus of all characters yeah. on the power play against Rick, Michonne, and that yeah. entire crew. I think Daryl was the biggest surprise out of them all because he just came out of the corner like I couldn't see him, so he just came out of the corner like it. It I figured he'd be on Rick's side because you know Daryl and Rick had their conflicts throughout the past two seasons, but 
I wouldn't, I could never see Daryl turn on Rick. But I feel like if Maggie understood why Rick was doing this, mm -hmm. and especially how they kind of revealed it in the ending, ending of this episode where he's going to have Negan just sit and rot in prison Basically this whole time, rot. I feel like Maggie would get more out of that than just ending his life. And basically that could be the ultimate punishment for Negan is that he's going to rot in a jail cell when if he was dead, obviously that would be maybe better for him. Yeah. Uh, and definitely you see that moment with Negan and Rick where Negan almost starts to cry where he, caught, where he catches him off guard because of Carl. Yeah. So you almost see where Negan has been such a great antagonist, but yes, Negan has a heart. He just wanted to do things a certain way. He was a tyrant mm -hmm. and one of the best antagonists in my eyes you know, on this show. Now, they have said, rumor has it, that the whispers make Negan look like an altar boy. I, I would agree so. You I, would, agree? I would agree. Um, again, based on the comics, they... Um, yeah, there's a lot of things they did that, you know, made Negan's, you know, killing of, you know, Abraham and Glenn look like nothing, look like child's play. Uh, I won't reveal anything because people are reading the comics and they don't want to get spoiled, but there's... It's a lot. It's a lot. They, they kill off major characters in a kind of sick, kind of crazy way. This show, and that's why I think I started watching it, it's famous for the antagonists. From the governor mm -hmm. to, I believe, one friend said the wolves to, mm -hmm. uh, um, I don't know what they were called uh, back. They were like, they ate. Oh, the, um, oh, what was that community? I, I don't even remember the community's name, but. Yeah, they're it's they're famous for you know it's good and evil, and I liked how Father Gabriel's back and how mm -hmm. he now has his sight back from what we see. Mm -hmm. uh, Morgan kind of went crazy in this episode, but they're all coming together, and you know as Morgan said, um, we need people, mm -hmm. and you know that's I was just talking to a priest about this show the other day. This show is basically about survival and life, and sacrifice, and it definitely has the politics in there, and definitely has the faith and religion in there. And I'm glad you've taught me so much about it because I mm -hmm. don't know. I need to go back and watch previous seasons. But I definitely, this was an excellent season finale in my eyes. The season had slow moments. Uh, was there anything favorite from this past season in your eyes? that? Uh, it's just, you know, how they're trying to, you know, again, stay away from the comics, but trying to stay true to it as a source material. Like how they, I didn't love it, but... I, it's interesting how they killed off Carl, who was still such a major player in the comics. That was a tear jerker. It was nuts. Um, but... Well... Yeah. And just... now where do we go from here? Obviously, they've set the stage, you know, for the power play next season. And, uh... Countdown to October begins. Yeah, the countdown to <laughs> October begins. So, uh, Walking Dead fans, uh, what did we think of the season finale? What did we think of the season overall? What do we think for next year? What were your favorite moments? Start sharing your thoughts and comments. Subscribe to the channel for more, definitely for uh, next October. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video when I uh, meet up with other friends uh, to do these review videos. Share the video. Follow me on Twitter at Adam King of TV3. I've been distant lately, but I'm coming back for the channel. I do have that uh, surprise coming to you all, so stay tuned for that this week. It's always for you guys, so thanks for the continued love and the support, and I appreciate you uh, joining me on this review. Thanks for having and, me. And uh, yeah, you're welcome. And uh, where do we go from here? You know, no shows, you guys are leaving, so <laughs> kind of a, a, a sad night, but. <laughs> But uh, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys.